Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you an application of finding angular speed of a pulley and linear speed of a belt. So a belt runs a pulley of radius 10 centimeters at 90 revolutions per minute. So right now it's telling us that if I were to take a point on a circle, that it rotates around the circle. So if I have my circle here, okay, um, and I have any point that this point will come back to the beginning point 90 times every one minute. Okay, the radius of this circle is 10 centimeters. Okay, so that's information that we are going to use throughout this problem. So to find the angular speed omega of the pulley in radians per second, basically what we want to do is we want to convert our revolutions per minute um, to radians per second. So the first thing that we have to think about is that if we're thinking in terms of radians, one revolution is equal to two pi radians because it takes two pi, that's um, the number of, or the amount of radians that it takes to rotate fully around the circle. So, um, with this, what we would have to do to convert it from 90 revolutions per minute to 2 pi radians, the first thing that we want to do is get our number of radians that we would have with 90 revolutions. Okay, so we would take 90 times 2 pi, which tells us that we get 180 pi radians per minute. Okay, so now we just have to do a simple conversion. So since we have 180 pi radians per one minute, what we want to do is we want to get rid of our minutes and we know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. Okay, so in order to get rid of our minutes and convert it to seconds, we would just divide by 60. So we end up with 3 pi radians per second. So this right here would be our exact value. I'm not going to put the approximate value. If you wanted an approximate value, you would multiply 3 times pi and just round however many decimal places that it says. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it as an exact answer because that helps me more with the next part of the problem. Okay, um, so really all we did was we converted from revolutions per minute to radians per second, where you remember that a revolution just means how many times around the circle that you went, and one complete revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. All right, so for our next part, what we are going to do is we want to find the linear speed of the belt in centimeters per second. So remember that the velocity or the linear speed is equal to our radius times omega. Okay, so the radius we're going to get from the original problem, so it tells us that our radius is 10. So that's what we're going to plug in for R, and this is what we are going to use for omega. Okay, um, so for this, all we would have to do is our velocity is going to equal our radius, which is 10, times our angular speed, which is 3 pi radians per second. Okay, and we end up with, if I multiply this out, 10 times 3 pi, ends up giving me 30 pi centimeters per second. So if you wanted an exact answer, this would be our exact answer. And again, if you want an approximate, we would just multiply our 30 times pi, which gives us approximately 94.25 centimeters per second. So that is the linear speed of the belt is 94.25 centimeters per second. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.